Hi, I'm Tim Alexander. And I'm Ben Mio McRae. And right now we're talking about how, how to, to be, be stronger, stronger as men. men. This really needs to be talked about. Yep. I'm sorry, a lot of my brothers, not just black brothers, brothers, the manhood, the, 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 the malehood, excuse me, let me correct that. They're failing and falling down as men. Yeah. There's a difference in a man and a guy. Yeah. They're both males, but a man holds an elite position. And a guy is just some dude, he's just some general character who's around. Got a penis, you know, looks yeah. like a man, but he's kind of a shadow. But what does it mean to be a man? That's the thing. What it means to be a man is when you hear the term man, it evokes something different than when you hear a guy or a dude. Oh, it's like that man right there. Not, oh, this dude doesn't even feel the same. Right. Well, a man is going to take care of his responsibilities. He's going to man up. Exactly. They don't say dude up, guy up. They man he up. man up. Absolutely. He's going to take care of responsibility. He's got honor. He's going to take care of his family. Family, respect. That is a position that holds some weight. And a man should lead a woman. A guy is trying to get away with whatever he can. A dude is just, you know. Yeah, I mean, a man should be selfless in his taking care of his family and his relationships. Yeah. So, as males, we should all aspire to be men. And we should look for those values of proper manhood. You know, what can I do? Respecting your woman. Yes. Respecting your mother. Taking care of your kids. Yes. Right? Making a fair contribution to something other than yourself. Taking care of the household. You know, making sure you're earning a living and taking care of all your responsibilities. Consistent, financial. reliable, yep. forthright, honest, earnest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Doing the chores around yeah. the house. You got to do that. Yeah. Fix things. And, and, you know, not just tasks, but also the mental. Can you stimulate that woman's mind? Can you meet all of her needs? Can you help her to grow? I feel one of my main roles is to make my woman grow toward me because we need to become one cohesive unit. I have to have a plan and a vision and, you know, in order to lead someone, you have to have some distance so you can lead them toward where you are. You can't lead someone if you're lesser than, yeah. you know, unless they just completely submit to you just because of your position. Yeah. I mean, you have to, you have to be willing to meet your mate on even playing field mm -hmm. and be open to growing and learning about what that other person needs. Equality, interesting word. I think we're equally important, but we're functionally different. So equality is not a straight across the board concept. My wife will never be equal in strength. You know, our emotional constitution is different, but she is equally as important to me. She's Absolutely. equally important to this relationship. I'm nothing without her. My creativity has soared because of her. You know, the, the, a lot of, thing of things about me, I'm much happier with myself because of her. Right. Well, behind every good man, there's a, a better woman. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be and nothing, you know, without... I need my wife. My I mean, wife. I was yeah. around, you know, but I really became a man when this woman accepted my offer and became my wife. Yeah. She completed me. You know, and behind a man is a woman. Yeah, my wife definitely makes me a better man. Yeah. You know, and I want to be a better man for her. Yes. To give her all the things that she deserves. I have no problem admitting that. I'm actually proud to say that my wife really defines who I am. And even people on my Facebook page, they see me different because they thought I was angry, they thought I was crazy, they thought I was this, they thought I was that. I'm like, no, you guys don't really know me. Yeah, I see you guys together. Yeah. I mean, you're like, Energy is awesome, yeah. off the charts, and yeah. big of smiles on both your faces. It's like it's obvious that you guys have the love and respect that. You yes, know. I knew people wouldn't understand me or my message until I had my wife as proof of concept. Because whatever they thought of me, oh, he's celebrity, he's this, he's all over the place, he's so judgmental. But then when they see her and they see me with her, they're like, wow. Right. Well, that's we, what the right woman can do yeah, for me. Exactly. When you meet that right person, it's like all of a sudden everything kind of opens up. Right. And we're supposed to complete each other. We're not supposed to be two separate individual units that coexist because it's financially viable and sex is fun. 
right. which supposed to complete each other. Yep. You know, that feminine energy and that masculine energy are supposed to lock and intertwine and complete a balance that is on a whole different level than just going through life, you know, on your own. I need the energy that she gives me. Yep. I know she needs the energy I give her. And so you, you pollinate each other and then, you know, pow, and you're, you're out. Yeah, you know. That's what it's all about. Yeah. So hopefully, out of all these words, I know we were long-winded There's sometimes. There's a couple bees making some honey. Yeah. Something we said, you can put it to use in your life and make it real in your life and just be happy. Because I know I am. I'm good now. I'm, I'm straight. This brother's straight. So, you know, we, we want, that's why we called it the Happy Husbands Wise Club. Club yep. We need to create a new club of happy people to offset all these bitter, broken people. You know, everything is going wrong in their lives. It's really not that hard once you conquer yourself. The main problem is you, yourself, and you. Because all the bad relationships you've ever been in, guess what? You've been in all of them. Right. Well, that's, that's the, the past, problem. and that's the past. And yeah. The world is your oyster in the future. Just yep. go for what you want. Yep. Mean it, claim it, and be responsible when you get it. Have a great day. Peace.